see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen now. All right. So thank you for, thanks again. And spend your time on Saturday, in the morning time. And I really appreciate you too. I'll join our webinar. And it's my pleasure to introduce Venture College. So I have been working for Fenshan nine years now. So I believe I knew most information which you really wanted to know. And let's have fun. So Fenshan College is one of the largest colleges in Canada. We have nine different campuses based on the location and programs. So this is our main campus, which located in London. And all of the buildings are already connected each other. So after you arrive at another main campus, you can go everywhere inside and always it will make you feel comfortable. Of course, you have to know where we're located. We are in London City. Canada has a London City, which is two hours from Toronto. It's almost 178 kilometers apart from Toronto. So it's not too far. So you can drive Toronto whenever you want to visit, but not many students are going to Toronto because everything you can find it in London City. So London City is the uh, 11th largest city in Canada, and we are one of the main city in Ontario. We are forest city, and also we are administrative city and education city because we have a lot of schools, elementary, secondary, and also college, university, public college, and also for your universities too. So a lot of Philippine students are coming and studying in London, especially at Benja College. And one of also other benefits to study in London, of course, you have a lot of part-time, full-time job opportunity, which our current Philippine students are doing it right now. And also living cost is way more cheaper than Toronto and Vancouver and other cities too. So our Philippine students are usually spending uh, 375 Canadian dollars to 450 dollars per month for rent of one room. So we are not sharing room. One student will have the one room because rent per fee is not expensive. And also rent per fee includes utilities and Wi-Fi. So you don't have to pay extra money during your stay. And also there are a lot of parks in London. So whenever you have a stress, whenever you wanted to have your time or relax, you can go to park and enjoy or relax. And also you can do the barbecue with your family. So after COVID-19, of course, people are not uh, having fun with friends or a third party. They have a social bubble, which they trust each other and they are doing um, camping or barbecue, whenever they have time. So when the city has a lot of parts, it always helps students to have fun with the social bubble or the family. And here's our business information. So we have a small business around the 1300 and medium business around the 2000 and also large business we have around 300. So there are a lot of job opportunities in London and most of the students already got a job and they are happy to working and stay in London after they finish the program during their study. So actually during you are studying at Fenshaw, uh, your study permit includes a work permit. So you can work 20 hours per week during your academic season and you can work 40 hours per week during your vacation. So when you have a part-time job, your salary is not really high because you are a student, right? And also every country's part-time job cannot get a lot of money. But it also can help you to cover your living cost because living in London, accommodation fee or living expenses is not too high. So if you have a part-time job, it will cover your living cost, but it will not cover hold your tuition fee. So you better to have a tuition fee, but living cost, you can cover it during your study in London. And here is also some more of the London information. We also have a Thames Valley School Board, London Catholic School Board, and Western University and Venture College. 
And if a lot of Philippine students are bringing their family, if you are studying at Fanshaw, um, you don't have to pay for your children's tuition fee. We have a tuition fee exception program for children, and, but you have to be a full-time student at Fanshaw College. So you pay tuition fee for studying at Fanshaw, but you don't have to pay for your children. They will have 100% free education in London. And I told you living cost is way more cheaper, at least 40% less than you know, Toronto or Vancouver. And also we will provide you free bus pass. So until you finish your program, whenever you wanted to take the bus, local bus, it will be free. So if you wanted to take the 20 times or 30 times every day, anyway, it's a free. And also there are a lot of companies which I already showed you the number. And also healthcare. We have a St. Joseph and Victoria Hospital, which is really big, especially Victoria Hospital is a government. And also it is a second largest hospital in Ontario. And also Western University have a university hospital and there are a lot of walking clinics too. So that's why uh, Fanshawe College has a lot of health science programs because our city or around our city, they need uh, uh, new candidates uh, who finish the health science program. So that's why when you compare Fanshawe health science program and other schools, we have way more health science program compared to other schools. That's why a lot of Philippine students are studying many different health science programs. We have a health science program, one year certificate, two year diploma, three year advanced diploma. We also have a postgraduate program too. Here's a program area. Uh, as I mentioned you at the beginning, we have a nine different campus in Ontario, especially most campus located in London. So based on your program, you might study in different city or you might study different campus. So here's uh, London campus information and Oxford Street campus is our main campus, transportation, digital and performing, tourism hospital, London South and aviation. Those campus are located in London. And we also have a regional campus in St. Thomas, Woodstock and Simcoe. We also have a Philippine students who are studying in Woodstock and St. Thomas. So our uh, school, we are learning uh, education field more than 50 years. And also we have uh, 43,000 full-time plus part-time students are studying together. And international students, we have uh, 7,500 from 104 different nationality. So Philippine is also second largest market for Venture College. Right now, we have more than 600 Philippine students are studying at Benchel. So after COVID-19, uh, many Philippine students are studying online in the Philippine or different countries and also in Canada. So Canada never closed the border. So even you will study online program, you can take a flight to Canada and then you can study online course in London. Of course, we have a lot of blended program. So blended students, must arrive in Canada and study because you have to go to campus. Okay, so there are a lot of Philippine students are studying and we also have a Facebook group page. And also I believe Tina also has a Facebook group page for Fanshawe. So you can join our Facebook group page and communicate our current student, how they are studying, how they, you know, survive in London too. And also they can provide you useful and also uh, job opportunity and accommodation too. And 15 minute walking distance from the main campus, we have a transportation campus. So if you wanted to have a, if you wanted to fix a car, this is the program you have to study. Actually, when we recruit Philippine students, not since a long time ago, uh, most Philippine students wanted to study health science program or hospitality or business program. But since we promote the transportation, uh, because um, we wanted to um, provide other programs, which is really good in Canada, has a lot of job opportunity. And since two years ago, we are slowly getting uh, Philippine students in 
transportation campus. But in September 2021, we expect many Philippine students who will study multi power program. And we have uh, four different multi power programs here. And two red programs are two year diploma, and two green is a one year certificate. So we also have a two red automotive and diesel. Uh, difference between those programs car size. So small size, medium size, sedan or van, SUV, pickup truck, which is run by gasoline. It belongs to automotive and hybrid car, electronic car also belongs to automotive. And diesel program will fix huge heavy duty construction truck, which use diesel. So it depends on your interest. You can choose one of our program. And of course, our multi power campus is the largest campus. We have really good facilities. And I believe many people already watched the Transformer movie. So Optimus Prime is a diesel. Other cars belong to automotive. That's why when Optimus Prime uh, pull each cars, he mentioned like a Bumblebee or other cars name. But when Optimus Prime called it his group, he said automotive because he is not automotive. He's a diesel. Okay, so that's the difference. The based on the car size. And London International Airport, we also have aviation campus. So aviation campus located in London International Airport. This program is also almost the same as Motor Power. We didn't have a many, we didn't have actually, didn't have a building students, but since two years ago, slowly we are getting more building students. And this September, we have a very good students who will study aviation program. So financial aviation campus is the largest campus. We have eight different programs. If you will study aviation program, you don't have to go to the main campus. You have to go London International Airport because there is aviation campus. So we have a blue, red, green, and purple. Blue is a three-year advanced diploma, and red is a two-year. Green, one year, couple, one year postgraduate program. And also flight service is our new program, which will open this August. So this August, you might not have enough time to process your visa. So if you wanted to study flight service, I recommend you to apply next year, okay? And in downtown, we have a two different downtown campus. This is our first downtown campus which focus on digital and performing art. And we also have a very different programs in the, our digital and performing art campus. But I can pick some programs which uh, Philippine students interest. The first one is game design and interactive media development and animation. We have some Philippine students uh, broadcasting television and film production and, and also interactive media design. Those is, uh, programs are really uh, unique in, in the Philippine market because Philippine students are keep asking about these programs, uh, job opportunity and salary too. But these programs actually, after we have COVID-19, there are a lot of job opportunity, more and more job opportunities now because uh, company need uh, social media and also people are working and studying at home. Whenever they have time, they wanted to see you know, play the game or watch the animation. So there are a lot of job opportunity and it's getting increasing right now. And across from the first downtown campus, we have a hospitality campus. So you already watched our hospitality campus at the beginning, and this is almost a brand new campus. And those programs are, um, those program students are studying a hospitality campus. And of course, there are a lot of Philippine students in baking and pastry, culinary management, food and beverage, golf and club, hospitality, nutrition, food service, special event planning, and culinary skills. And also we have a pottery techniques, which is also unique, right? So if you interest a pottery program, this is a one-year program, so you can combine 
with culinary skill, which is another, you know, uh, one year certificate program that you can apply uh, PGWP and you will get it up to three years. Of course, we have a postgraduate program, but we have a two different colors, right? So hospitality and tourism is a two year postgraduate program and other light purple are one year postgraduate. And this is the last um, campus in London. We built it uh, last year. This is a, a new pro, a new campus, and we just focus on postgraduate only postgraduate program. There are a lot of postgraduate programs at Asia, but only five postgraduate programs are learning at London South Campus. But more postgraduate students will study at London South. So we have a business management and also agribusiness management, healthcare administration, which is really also popular uh, from our previous unit. We also have a retirement residence management. So retirement residence management, mostly uh, our Philippine students who already were nurse in the Philippines or licensed nurse, they are studying retirement residence management. And this is a one year program. So they combine with general knowledge or personal support worker, or we also have a pharmacist and also registrar nurse. And they also apply healthcare administration management too. And there are a lot of um, many Philippine students who are studying two year business management. Uh, Fresha College, we're really proud of our employment rate. It was a uh, 90.3. And of course, a lot of uh, Philippine students um, could success to get a full-time job after they finish the program. Then you can watch our testimonial in our YouTube. So please search Fanshaw International, then you can see our Philippine students' testimonial feedback. And here is how we support the international student to find a job. Of course, we understand the reason why you wanted to study in Canada and live in Canada. Of course, you wanted to get a full-time job and many students wanted to apply permanent residence after they finish the program. But the most important thing is that you have to find the right program for you, then you can success, you will get a high GPA, then of course you will, you know, affect when you have a full-time, or when you try to get a full-time job. So we have a really good career services center. So career services center, how we support international, they, have a one-on-one -on -one appointment, and they will uh, fix your resume and couple letters. If you have any, you know, grammatical mistake, of course we will fix it. And also we will suggest you to make a beautiful resume couple letter. And venture college, we also have more than 8,000 8, partner companies in Canada. And we always have uh, job fairs for international students and domestic students. But after COVID-19, we couldn't have a physical job fair on campus, but we provide an online job fair. So you have a chance to see our um, partner companies. And we also have a Fanshaw Works workshop every intake, one week before program start date. And we invite our alumni students and panelists, and they will explain to you how they were prepared to how they prepare to get a job when they were sitting at Fanshawe and what kind of job they are doing and also how they success that they are studying. So there are a lot of unique information in Fanshawe Works Workshop. So this is a free workshop every intake, September, January, May. So feel free to join if you will study at Fanshawe College. We will also send you the registration form so after you register, you can feel free to join our Fanshawe Works Workshop. So in Canada, we have a three different um, intakes. So fall is a September intake, which is the main intake in Canada. And winter is January, summer is May. So most of the students are studying fall, but there are also a lot of programs available in January and a little bit less program available in summer. So all of 
we have about 220 programs for international students and 220 programs except in September, open in September. But I can say 70% of our program open in summer and 50% open in summer. Oh, 70% in January and 50% in summer. But most of postgraduate program, which is really popular in the Philippines, most of the programs open in full winter somewhere. So there are a lot of Philippine students start their program in January and May takes two. And tuition fee and living expenses, all of the tuition fee are mostly same. It doesn't matter what kind of program you will study, what kind of uh, your level of studying, mostly same tuition fee. You can expect the 16,000 to 18,000 per year. So your tuition fee might around the 8,600 or 9,000, but anyway, one year tuition fee will be between 16,000 to 18,000, which also include um, medical insurance, dental, and also airport pickup service, and also tonight free accommodation and bus pass. If you will bring your family, our family insurance fee is around 875 for one year. And if you have three children, same price. If you have four children, same price. So if you have more children, you buy it better. And I told you the living cost between the 380 to 450. And on the mission requirements, I have to tell you, um, technically, financial college doesn't require IELTS for all of Philippine students who have a um, Philippine passport or finish the high school, college, university in the Philippines. No IELTS, but we have an entry scholarship which require IELTS Academy. If you already took the IELTS Academy, you have a chance to get our scholarship. But if you don't have IELTS, it's okay. You don't have to take it because we always waive English requirements for Philippine students because Philippine is one of the English country. So when you apply FANSHA, you must to submit high school documents plus college or university. So since 2019, Philippine uh, had a first grade 12 high school graduate student. High school, grade 12, graduate student can apply any two-year program, three-year program. But before 2019, our college, Philippine used to have a grade 10 high school system plus senior high school, like a college or university. So if you finish the grade 10 high school system, you're supposed to submit your college or university document too. Then you can apply any programs at FANSHA. After you apply FANSHA, of course, TEEN will help you to process all of the applications. So feel free to contact her and submit application and we will waive the application fee $100. And it will only take four days to provide your acceptance letter, okay? Here is the process, application, we only accept online application. Application fee is $100, but we will waive for you who attended today's seminar. After we receive the online application, only take four to seven days, actually less than four days to provide your acceptance letter and team will provide your acceptance letter. After you receive your acceptance letter, you have to pay the deposit $2,300 and we will Hold your seat until payment deadline. So we will also provide your fee invoice, but you cannot wait to pay the tuition fee until after you receive the fee invoice because you have to process your study permit. So when you process your study permit, you also have to pay. You have to prove you paid the first semester tuition fee. If you are going to apply study permit under regular, but if you will apply study permit under SDS, you have to pay one year tuition fee. TIN has more um, 
detailed information. So regarding process 630 for me, feel free to contact her. She's the best. And after you receive your study permit, of course, you have to let us know. Don't worry, she will help you to let us know you got your study permit. Then you will take a flight, and also we have a partnership with Paul, Philippine Airline, and they will discount your flight tickets for venture student. So you will take a flight to Canada and study. Here is uh, my program recommendation. There are a lot of programs available at Venture, and all the programs are really unique and help you to find a you know, full-time job. But if it depends on your career, education, background, your interest, you have to choose the right program because life is a competitive in Canada. You must have a better knowledge, better skill to find a full-time job. But if you follow third party, your friends or relatives who are studying other programs, even you don't like the program, if they will recommend you, you will study because they already success. Maybe they are lucky to success in Canada or they might want to study the program. If the program is not suitable for you, you are not enjoying studying and your Canada life will be boring. So I really want you to choose a program which you really wanted to study, okay? So that's why it's just cool to have um, like a recruiter like me and also we have a team. If you wanted to, if you want us to recommend some programs, of course, please send us your CV and I can also suggest some programs for you. Here's more programs, options, but here's also postgraduate program. There are a lot of postgraduate programs. Those are popular and many Philippine students are studying in those area. Under health, human service, we have healthcare administration, addictions and mental health, advanced, you know, graduate studies, autism, behavior science, and college, which I'm going to residence management, and also student service, uh, learning center. They also provide a lot of uh, free service if you wanted to improve your English. Of course not, because Philippine has a good English, but they are a conversation class, which you can be the volunteering volunteer. So if you want to apply the scholarship, you also have to have a volunteer experience and volunteer hour. So you can talk with um, international students who came from non-speaking English country, then you will have a volunteer hours and apply scholarship. And international center is my office. We are supporting 100%, actually 200% support international students to success your program and also setting out in Canada. And we have a online, 100% online appointment system right now. If you wanted to talk with me or wanted to talk with one of our school staff after you start your program, we have an appointment system. And also, of course, we will answer all of your questions. And we also have other uh, immigration advisor who have a uh, license. So we can support you to extend your study permit, apply PGWP, we will explain to you, we will provide your document, uh, the checklist, what you have to prepare. Apply study permit team will help you because we cannot help applying study permit, but if visa extension or study permit extension, apply co-op visa, PGWP, we can explain to you and support you. Whenever you have any program issue, any specification regarding your program, after you start your program, we have a student success advisor and program coordinator, and they also have an online appointment system, and you can ask them. But before you will start program, whatever you have any question, feel free to contact me, then I will answer your questions too. Regarding study permit question, please ask the team. Okay. And here is our financial care. We provide uh, many student service for international students. And of course, we have home study and on-campus on residence, but there's no Philippine students. 
at home stay and on campus residents because uh, our new students, Philippine students, always find accommodation, private accommodation through our French students. And also it is easy to find accommodation. So feel free to join our Facebook page. Here's my contact information, but I'm living in South Korea. If you wanted to talk with someone who living in Philippines, we also have a, a international education advisor. Uh, her name is Yina, who is working close with me. We are ASEAN team. So she is here, but she is busy today. So that's why I'm attending today's seminar. But I'm also like to talk with our Philippine students and also I can recommend a lot of programs based on your CV. So feel free to contact me too, okay? Thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, thanks Jay for your presentation. So right now we are open for your um questions. So we can also have it addressed, especially for if you have any questions um regarding financial college. Uh Jay is here to address your concern. Okay. Uh first off, um from Mr. Freiland Villanueva, uh, do you have any bachelor's degree? Oh bachelor's degree, of course we have. Okay. Um I believe she is looking for education, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you, this is our program brochure. If you wanted to have it, feel free to contact Dean. She has also a word program brochure. So yeah, all of the yellow programs are um, degree, four year degree program. We have a four year bachelor of early childhood leadership, which is under education. Okay, so this is a four-year program. It only opened the September. Of course, we waive the English. To study bachelor program at Fensha, um, we also have a degree scholarship, $2,000. So after you finish the first semester, we will provide $2,000 scholarship. So you can use it for shopping or you can use it for second semester, up to you. Okay, perfect. Um, we have questions from our Facebook. Um, do you accept grade 10 or high school students uh, graduate from old and new curriculum here in the Philippines? Oh, okay. So I believe the students who ask us believe the student only finished the high school grade 10. I believe he or she didn't study college or senior. So yes, we accept you, but here is a program which you must study. General Art and Science one year program. And then after you finish the generic science, you can study any other programs. So when you apply FENSHA with your grade 10 high school, transcript and graduate certificate, please apply general art and science plus other main program which you really wanted to study. So you, if you wanted to study, for example, personal support worker, you can apply together general art and science plus personal support worker, and we will put two program information in your LOA, and you will process your study permit. And this is also full time program. General art and science is also full time program, so you are eligible to apply a post graduation work permit. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have a next question from Mr. Uh, Mark Manalili. Uh, for computer-related courses, how many years does it take to finish? Okay, so we have a lot of computerized program because mm -hmm. London is also an uh, IT hub. Under diploma, we have a three-year blue, three-year advanced diploma. And also we have two-year diploma program. And here is an intake too. If you have four-year degree or college diploma, 
we also have a lot of postgraduate programs are available. Business and information system, mobile application, game development, health system management, information security, a lot of, lot of postgraduate programs are also available. So dark purple, mobile application and business information are two year postgraduate program and other light purple post postgraduate programs are one year. So if you are going to apply one year postgraduate program, I recommend you to apply two different one year postgraduate programs. But if you apply two year postgraduate, one two year postgraduate program will be enough. Okay, perfect. Um, we have next question from Mr. Vernon. Um, what is commercial flight and leadership program and career path? Okay, so uh, our commercial flights, we have a partnership with the Diamond Aircraft in London. Mm -hmm. And also they are located in London International Airport. And if you are going to study our commercial flights, you will get two license. The first one is a PPL and second one is a CPL, commercial flight. And after you finish the commercial flight, of course, you can get a job and you can fly it. But if you wanted to work at like a big airline, such as PAL or Air Canada or other big airlines, you need to get additional uh, one more license which you can get it in Canada too then you will get a full-time job at Air Canada but based on the uh, your flight you also must have a different uh, training and license too so each uh, airplane has a different license so after you get a job you have to be the co-pilot and get the additional license to you know, flight. But after you finish our commercial flight program, of course, you can get a job. So if you wanted to become the pilot, commercial flight is one of the uh, program for you. Okay. Um, just a follow-up question, Jip, uh, from, for the program of commercial uh, flight. So that would be uh, for academic, it is from financial college. And then for the flight training, it will be coming from your partner, uh, flight training school in London, right? Yeah, Diamond Aircraft. So Diamond Aircraft, so after you apply commercial flight, you will get two different letter of acceptance from Fensha and Diamond Aircraft. So theory simulation, you will stay at Fensha, but the practical flights, you will do it at Diamond Aircraft campus. Okay, perfect. Um, just a uh, last follow-up question for that program. Since um, let's say the student already paid her uh, tuition fee for the for financial college for the commercial flight, and then there's also an offer letter for the Diamond Flight Center. Um, does the student will need to at least um, settle? the full tuition fee for, for Diamond Flight, or at least settle the tuition deposit just to reserve her slot, and then settle the remaining fees once she's in Canada. What do you suggest? Okay, so we have a different uh, payment system. Of course, for Venture College, we will send you the invoice right before start the each semesters. So if you have not started Venture yet, of course, you will receive the fee invoice for only first semester. And when you study first semester, we will provide your invoice for second semester. But Diamond Aircraft, they don't have a separate fee invoice. So once you receive it, you have to pay the whole, you know, tuition fee to Diamond Aircraft. So that's the difference. So Fensha, you will pay the tuition fee thumb by thumb. But Diamond Aircraft, you pay whole money. Mm, okay, perfect. And we have also a follow-up question from uh, Vernon. Um, how much is the cost for the program of commercial flight? That's a really good question. Actually, um, commercial flight is the, the expensive. 
uh, program. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I will share my screen. I will share our website. Of course, I'm sorry. I cannot remember the all of the tuition fee. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> we have a 200 train programs. Yeah, but um, in general, most of the uh, Fanshawe College tuition fee will range to uh, 16,000 Canadian dollars, but it will be, uh, it will also vary for uh, what program you'll be uh, applying to. Okay, so I think I will show you um, how you can find the tuition fee. So this is our main website. There are many different uh, drop down menu, but click program and course and click full-time programs and you will see all of our full-time programs and just let's go to C because it's a commercial flight and here commercial flight and aviation leadership and here is also information regarding the diamond flight to center London okay and also you will pay the uh, the flight fee around the 70,000. That is what you have to pay to diamond the flight aircraft, diamond the flight center. But here is a um, financial tuition fee. The first level is the first semester. It's around the 10,000. Second semester is almost the same, a little bit less, a little bit cheaper than first semester, a few dollars different. And here is a third semester, fourth semester, and fifth and sixth. This is a three year program, so you have six semesters. So this is uh, how you can find out uh, tuition information and free breakdown. Okay. Okay, thanks for that, Jay. Um, so far, we don't have any questions in our Q&A box here in Zoom. And we also don't have any questions in our Facebook Live or in the comment section or in our inbox. But uh, for our attendees and to our viewers, if you still have any uh, other questions or concerns, we still have uh, ample of time to accommodate and answer your concerns. And I think uh, while we wait for any uh, follow-up questions or concerns, um, do you have any uh, messages or um, final remarks, Jay, to our uh, viewers? Oh, okay. So, um, well, public school is a public school. Uh, most public schools are really good and they have a good facilities and quality. And also, Fenshaw College is trying to support all of the international students to success in Canada. But with our support, most important thing is that you have to choose the right program. So a lot of students are choosing the program based on the YouTube or social media or friends or relatives. They are not paying your tuition fee and they are not going to help you to get full-time job, okay? So I really want all of our Philippine students to find the right program, which you really wanted to, and which you really like, then you will not disappoint. So you choose the program yourself. If you wanted to get detailed, specific information, feel free to contact me or feel free to contact him. And that's why we are, you know, getting also a lot of information and studying ourselves too because this is not something selling the product we are recruiting and support our student. So this is not the product, this is the education. So you need to have a specific information. So feel free to contact us to get more detailed information anytime, okay? Okay, thanks for that, Jay. Oh, we have a follow-up question. Uh, are all the classes online? No, actually not. We never. <laughs> so we have about 220 programs, but some of the programs are already suspended. Um, but still, we have uh, around 80 courses are online, but other around 126 programs are blended. So around 160 program students must arrive in Canada. Online students have an um, option studying online course in the Philippines, 
or studying online course in Canada. Okay, thanks for that, Jay. So far, um, I think we'll just need to wait for a couple of minutes. If there's any other questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to uh, enter your questions in the Q&A box and to our uh, comment section so that we can also address your concerns. Right, and also additional information before we are going to have question. So you might know um, Ontario has a new immigration policy and it just updated um, three weeks ago. So to study outside of the GTA, Greater Toronto area, you will get additional points. So we are outside of Toronto. So if you are going to study a financial, you will get additional points. So your point will be higher than Philippine students who study in Toronto. And if you will get a job outside of Toronto, like if you will get a job in London, you will also another additional point, right? So studying at Bensha, additional point, working in London, additional point. It's around like eight point different, but Ontario immigration, getting one point will be really hard. So eight point different, it's a huge difference. So decide it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, we have a follow-up question. After finishing the uh, study or the course, all of the PGWP will be three years, correct? Um, unfortunately, um, if you'll be uh, studying for, okay, for the postgraduate work permit, it is actually the same length that you're going to get to the same duration of your program. So let's say if you'll be studying for one year, you're only going to get at least eight months or to 12 months for your postgraduate work permit. But if you study for two years, you'll be able to get two up to three year, uh, years for your uh, postgraduate work permit. So in financial college, um, you will be able to, let's say, take a two year straight diploma programs, or you can combine a one plus one for the graduate programs for you to have yeah. at least two years. Right. And also many students are asking us which programs are eligible to apply PGWP. It doesn't matter. It is not based on the program. It depends on the school. Fensha is one of the public institutions. So after you finish one of our full-time program, like one of our 220 programs, you are eligible to apply PGWP. It depends on school, it's not depends on program. Okay, just study one of full-time program. Okay, perfect. And speaking of the postgraduate work permit, uh, we have a follow-up question in our uh, Facebook inbox. Uh, for, okay, wait a moment. Uh, for mechanical engineering technician, uh, CNC and CAM, um, this is an accelerated Ontario College diploma program, which has uh, at least three semesters. Does the school will still uh, give the credential as a diploma so that the student will be able to get 12, uh, I mean two, two year for the postgraduate work permit? Sorry to say it, no. <laughs> to get the three year PGWP, yes, it is saying accelerated, you know, um, diploma, but it has a three semesters. So you will get one year PGWP. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. But this, the credential that uh, the student will be, get, will be able to get is still a diploma program. Yeah, but diploma, but can that guarantee the two, uh, three year PGWP? Yes, of course. It's but, based on the semesters. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, the discretion of the visa officer. Okay, perfect. Right. Okay, so for, um, for our attendees, uh, this is our last, uh, I think, uh, roll call. If you have any other questions or concerns, um, please feel free to enter uh, your questions in the, in the box below and to our comments section. Okay, I guess we don't have any other um few more questions so i'll will that gonna take more of your time jay i think it's already evening in ontario in london 
So uh, thank you for joining us for today. And for our all viewers, if you have any questions or concerns right after our webinar, uh, please feel free to check our website. That's www.gatewaytocanada.com. And you can uh, also connect with our, our one of our consultants. And you may also send us an email. Thank you, Jay, for joining us for today and hope to see you soon. It's my pleasure and hope to see you soon too. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. You too, Jay. Bye.